If you are looking for new ways to amp up your ornaments or to have ornaments that no one else has, then this is the video for you. And do stay tuned to the end of the video for a very fun giveaway. Let's go ahead and jump right in. We're going to be starting off with Dollar Tree's two pack of their smaller ornaments. They do have these and they have um, the larger ones and those come by themselves. These come in a pack of two. I'm going to take them and I'm going to paint them in this black paint. I chose black because that's uh, just my taste, but you can definitely paint them whatever color you want. It can be whatever, you know, uh, colors that you want this to be. You don't have to do it the exact same, of course. So then after that, we are going to sprinkle on some baking soda. And I know I've seen um, people use flour but i decided to go with baking soda and it worked just fine for me so i don't know if i think it's almost the same um uh, but yeah i'm just using the baking soda and i'm just sprinkle it sprinkling it here on the ornaments while it's still wet of course so i can um adhere to it and then once we get that i am going to take the brush and i am just going to smear it all over and this is just going to take out all of those, you know, like blotchy parts, the big parts that may have fallen on there and just really get it all over the ornament. So really all this is doing, uh, the reason why we are putting either flour or the baking soda is because it's going to give it a nice texture. And when we add the second color of our choosing, we are going to make it look like it's almost like um, a cement wall or something like that. Uh, I don't know exactly the right way to, you know, kind of give it an example, but here I'm going in with the gold now. This is going to be the second color, and that's going to go over all of those parts where we just added the baking soda, and this is what it's going to look like. So you can see all of that texture, and it looks really beautiful, and I love it. So that is what the um, baking soda is for. Now you can see that there it was a bit streaky, so what I advise you to do is just take the same paint and pour a little bit inside of the ornament and just shake it around so that way it can cover the inside and it won't be streaky and you are good to go but that is just how you do it overall and i'm go i'm going in here with a close-up view let me know if you like this view you guys because i put it here but i'm not sure if you like seeing you know my art supplies and stuff like that in the way or if it really doesn't matter just let me know but here i am just showing you a close-up and i'm going in with that baking soda just smoothing it out and making sure that there's no big clumps anywhere and then we're gonna have a nice beautiful texture to add our gold and we're gonna go in with a separate brush and just go in with the gold and we don't want to go heavy-handed with the gold we just want to brush it very lightly as you see here and making sure that we are still seeing that base color which is the black and that is it it's very simple you guys and i love how these ornaments turned out i think they are very very gorgeous and high-end looking and i would love to make them in different colors and this these would be also a great gift to give to someone maybe a pack of 10 and a nice little gift box and i love that idea let me know what you think of these simple and beautiful ornaments next ornaments here i have this nude paint and then i have the larger ornaments this time and these are how those look they are very nice size and i'm just going to take the paint and i'm going to pour a nice decent amount inside because i do want to give it a full coverage paint and then i'm just going to shake it up really good shaking for dear life here to make sure that the paint goes all over the ornament and the reason i shake it really hard is because this paint it i used a lot of it but it's really thick so it was kind of hard to get it all over the ornament so i just shook it up until it went everywhere and then for the other one i am gonna fill it in with white so i'm gonna have one nude and one white 
this white paint that i'm using here is from dollar tree they have a bunch of paints that you can do this with as well and so once i get that white paint in there i'm going to do the same exact thing shaking it around until it covers the ornament and then once i have those i am going to flip them over as i work on each one so that way whatever excess paint is in there it will drip out so i have the white one off to the side there and i'm going to take this nude one and i want to take these rub-on transfers from dollar tree i am just going to cut them all apart so it's more easier to manage of course and i am going to take all of those beautiful greenery leaves and i am going to just rub them onto the nude one i'm going to make sort of a ring going all around the ornament and i thought that was really pretty and very neutral you guys if you love having neutral decor this is perfect especially for christmas neutral decor i think it's really pretty so i'm i am just rubbing it on there and the good thing about this is that it literally took no effort at all to put these on because since the ornament is plastic it tends to cling right onto it the rub on transfer so you literally just have to rub your finger on it a little bit and then just peel up so i'm going all the way around the ornament until it's complete and that's going to make a really pretty design just like this and i love it so then i'm going to go in with the white one now and i want to put this ginormous wreath on here now it is a bit tricky to put this one on here because it's so big and the you know the roundness of the ornament but what i found to uh do that works is that if you work um section by section you can see here i'm rubbing the top and i am just going slowly to the sides and then i'll work my way to the bottom and then work my way to the other side rather than trying to place the entire thing down because it will not go down completely it will want to you know shoot up and not stick so work your way section by section is the best way to do it and it turned out really nicely you guys it turned out absolutely gorgeous and i love this jumbo wreath on here i think it's really pretty and you do have to make sure you know you rub around those edges like that just to make sure that no um pieces are lifted up so you can see there i pulled that one off and look at all of that excess paint that you don't want and all i did for the rest was add a bow and that completed these beautiful and simple ornaments i love how they turned out you guys would have to let me know what you think what's up friends if you are enjoying this video so far now would be a good time to hit that thumbs up button not only does it let me know that you are enjoying today's content but it does help me to create more similar content that is better and that will give you what you want to see and i would highly appreciate it you guys and if you are really liking today's content do consider sharing share with your friends and your family i would love for your friends and family to see my videos as well just give it a little share here and there and i would appreciate it now let's jump right back in next up you guys this one turned out absolutely adorable and i just love it and my daughter loves it too um i have here this little um plant pot that i got from dollar tree these are the just the cardboard ones but they do have the same size and the actual terracotta ones so i am painting this in some red paint all over and i'm not going to give it like very full coverage i do want it to be a little bit distressed and rustic looking so i am going to do that and let that dry very well you guys if you're not following me over on instagram come on over and check me out over there come say hi i do post a lot of behind the scenes and even diys that you may not see here on youtube uh, so do definitely go check me out now i'm gonna take another one of those small ornaments from dollar tree and i am going to hot glue it on top of this 
plant pot and yes you can see almost already what it is a little mini gumball machine how cute and adorable is that you guys and how sweet would it be to gift this to one of the kids on your list i think they will be very excited to get this and i think it's just a very nice sweet idea so once we get that ornament on there i do want to fill this up and i was going in at first with these little frosted berries from dollar tree but i was like no because why not give this with actual candy inside that the person could enjoy right so i just filled it up with some colorful candies and i think that looked 10 times better than the berries so if you can just pick up a little pack of candies of whatever may be their favorite and just add those in there to make it look very nice and prettier and here is what that is looking like now you guys i did say that we are doing a giveaway so let's jump into that right now um very simple whoever can guess my favorite color first down in the comments will win a diy of mine free of charge completely for you guys but must be in the u.s very simple once again just guess my be the first to guess my favorite color down in the comments be in the u.s and that is it you are entered you guys how fun and also you guys no one guessed my favorite chocolate for the last giveaway my favorite chocolate is reese's so many of you were so close but it is reese's so let's continue on that giveaway today right um so do make sure you leave your comment down below and you guys that was super simple i added a can opener as the dispenser and a little bowl with the 25 cents and that was it i think this is super cute and adorable you guys and i think this is super easy for you to try out and it's super fun once again just give it a try and of course let me know what you think You guys, these ornaments were super fun to make and I love each and every one of them. Let me know which one was your favorite from today down below in the comments and let me know how you guys have been, you guys. I would love to know how has your week been so far? Has it been busy for Thanksgiving coming up? I'm pretty sure. But I will see you all on the next one, you guys. Take care. God bless. Bye.